Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, it was the mother. Now, it's, it is the son's turn. After Mary and Jesus, no other mother and son team would strike us more than this one of St. Monica and St. Augustine. Today, August 28th, is the memorial of St. Augustine. He is a bishop and doctor of the church. Now, perhaps this man, Augustine, is one of the most brilliant persons in the world that the world has ever seen and known. One of the most prolific and productive writers ever. So that one who claims that he has read all the works of this saint must either be joking or telling a lie. Saint Augustine was so prolific. He was a theologian, a philosopher, a preacher, a poet, a mystic, and a pastor, all rolled into one. You know, dear friends, it is true that grace builds on nature. Uh, this saint is great indeed as a holy man and a stepping stone toward that greatness was his great mind. However, for him, the path to holiness, to sanctity, was not easy. And this is well engraved in his words, one that you would encounter from his work, the Confessions of St. Augustine, and also for the priests and the members of the clergy who pray the office of the readings, they would find this as the second reading today. And beautiful words. It says, Late have I loved you, O beauty ever ancient, ever new. Late have I loved you. You were within me, but I was outside. And it was there that I searched for you. In my unloveliness, I plunged into the lovely things which you created. You were with me, but I was not with you. Created things kept me from you. Yet if they had not been in you, they would not have been at all. You called, you shouted, and you broke through my deafness. You flashed, you shone, you dispelled my blindness. You breathed your fragrance on me. I drew in breath, and now I pant for you. I have tasted you, now I hunger and thirst for more. You touch me, and I burned for your peace. Words so poetic, so beautiful from St. Augustine. And from him, from these words, we learn the quality of God that makes us see him more. What we usually take for granted is actually there all along. Yes, we can sense God. We can touch Him, see Him, smell Him, taste Him, hear Him. But if and only if we open ourselves to Him. Because God is always there making Himself tangible, He is there shining, exuding His fragrance, His flavor, and His music. You know, dear friends, we may not be as brilliant as the man we remember today, but we can do what he said, to seek more of God in the humdrum of daily life, even by way of our senses. So if you forget God, just look around. You can feel him, you can see him, you can touch him and hear him in what he has created. And you know, one of the be most beautiful words that I've heard ever since I was an aspirant were words from St. Augustine. And he says, Our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Dear friends, we can only rest with all, that rest the, with all the comfort that rest can give us if we rest in the Lord. And that's what I pray, that we may always stay with the Lord. I wish you all the best, and uh, we pray for those who are sick, in particular among our mission partners. Now we pray for the quick recovery of uh, Mom Fatima Alarcon. Let's pray for her. 
And I like to remember on this, uh, these days, a good friend of mine, he was an aspirant here when I was uh, a young Salesian, even in practical training. He was my student, uh, Mr. Daryl Dalde. And he went on to be part of the Salesian educators, be among the educa Salesian educators in Don Bosco Mandaluyong, working in the part, as part of the pastoral team, and then later on in the HR office. And he's a, a very wonderful person, somebody you could rely on, a very, very friendly with the young people, and uh, really has a solution at heart. But unfortunately, he has left us. He has gone to the Father, and we pray for the repose of his soul. We uh, wish him, uh, we ask the Lord to, to grant him eternal rest. I bid you all a good day and have a great weekend ahead of you. God bless you.